when Jack Graham began producing ABC's coverage of the British Open in 1997, one of his goals was to front-load his commercial breaks so that the larger audience tuning in during the final hour would see more action and fewer ads. That plan worked perfectly at the 1999 Open. When the final twosome, Gene Van de Velde and Craig Perry, reached the 18th tee, ABC had only one more commercial break remaining. The only problem was that, the tournament had been a dud, a 71-hole slog across a famously difficult course, seemingly leading to victory for a little-known professional from France. Then we had the craziest hour I've ever experienced in any sport, said Graham, now Golf Channel's vice president golf events and executive producer. It just got progressively nuttier. Dot dot dot. I'm sure I've produced football games that had a last-minute interception, but nothing that went on for 45 to 50 minutes like this. That slow-motion series of mistakes and mishaps is what made Van de Velde's collapse so memorable. It's Buckner if you're a Sox fan, Bartman if you're a Cubs fan, a bartender tells his clueless customer in the new Golf Channel documentary of the 1999 Open, Go Down Swinging, which airs July 9th at 9 p.m. Gene Van de Velde got wiped out on the 72nd hole of the 1999 Open Championship. Jerry Penny, Getty Images, but Buckner and Bartman were shocking because they were so sudden. We remember Van de Velde's collapse more like a full-length movie filled with dramatic plot twists. He arrived at the 18th tee with a three-shot lead in ABC's Bob Rosberg. He's gotta play an iron. The only thing that can get him in any trouble is if he drives it in the burn. To which ABC's Curtis Strange replied, Rossi, just as you said that, the driver head cover came off. In, go down swinging, Van de Velde explained why he stuck to his strategy of playing so aggressively off the tee that week. A lot of people hit irons to try to keep it in play, Van de Velde said. But really, with the conditions that hard, it was as difficult to keep the ball on the fairway with a two iron. I decided to be quite aggressive and play drivers off the tee. That drive off 18, of course, sailed right, just missing the berry burn. At this moment, our feeling was, wow, we will win the Open, Van de Velde's caddy, Christoph Angiolini, recalls in Go Down Swinging. We all know how it played out. One had the sense that the announcers were watching a horror film, hands over their eyes, peeking through their fingers, as the story unfolded. They questioned every Van de Velde decision, don't hit the driver. Don't go for the green with the two iron. Don't try to pitch over the burn. Just chip out and hit it on the green. And for goodness sake, don't even think about trying to play a shot out of the burn. With no obligation for ABC to go to commercial break, we saw it all unfold in real time. At one point, Graham recalled in a recent interview with Golf Week, hole announcer Ian Baker Finch hit Talkbach, which allowed him to speak directly to the production truck, and said, This is making me physically ill. I thought, my god, it really does hit a player. When the clock approached the top of the hour, Graham's associate director reminded him of the need to give local affiliates a station break. I can distinctly remember saying, if some guy in Kansas City really wants to take his viewers away, he can do it, but I'm not helping him. Graham said. One suspects that ABC anchor Mike Tirico captured the mood of most fans watching the event. With Van de Velde facing a 7-foot putt just to make a playoff, Tirico said, you root against no one, you root for no one. Tirico said at the time. But you've gotta hope that this goes in. Like any drama, the 1999 Open needed a denouement, in this case, a forgettable three-man playoff. It was slow in starting because Van de Velde returned to his room to change clothes. That led to Tirico's memorable quip, he went back to the hotel to change into something more comfortable. We can laugh at that now as we watch it replayed in, go down swinging, but it wasn't always that way. It was tough to accept before. And Giolini says, a long time ago, it was very stressful to watch her to talk about this story. But now, 20 years after, it's okay, GWK.